video welcome back thanks for clicking so we're going to be checking out commonalities that is the common things you will see between these three books torah bible and quran so let's check it out That's what is the relationship of quran with the torah and bible the relationship of, of uh, the Quran with the all previous revelations, the Old and the New Testament, the Torah and the Injil, as we call them in uh, in uh, Arabic, is that it is the final installment of them. It's the final testament uh, of them, and that it, it it confirms the truth that was revealed in them. So actually, now this is an important thing to make a distinction of. When Muslims talk to each other, we'll say, "Yeah, we believe in the Torah and the Bible also." And a Muslim, no Muslim will disagree. They'll say, yeah, of course we do. But the way a Muslim understands that is different from the way a non-Muslim understands that. If you're talking to a non-Muslim and you say to him, I believe in the Bible, they will assume that you believe in the Bible that they have at home or they, ha they, they, they read in church and things like that. But when the Muslims are talking to each other and saying, we believe that the Quran is a confirmation of the Bible and the Old Testament and you know the Torah and things like that, and even the Psalms of David, uh, the Zabur, uh, what we mean are the original texts that were revealed without the filter of translation or a reinterpretation or re-rendition. So we're referring to the originals. And our claim is that the originals are no longer intact. That there have been, you know, um, ad additions, there have been translations, there have been the, uh, the work of man has sort of entered and manipulated the word of God. Uh, you know, uh, um, on purpose or just because of the course of history, whatever the case may be, that's an open debate. But the point is, it's not the original text. We are saying that we are genuinely committed to the original text and have as much regard for them as we do for the Qur'an in the sense that they are also revelation. However, we also believe that whenever a revelation was sent, the revelation included in it a prediction of another revelation to come. Especially, you know, the Torah, we believe that, you know, the... Uh, the final revelation was warned of or, or spoken of. And when the new revelation comes, now it is incumbent upon the ones who believed in the previous one to believe in the next one. In other words, you have to believe in all of them and rejection of one of them is tantamount to the rejection of all of them. So this is the, the way the Muslims understand it. Hence, we cannot afford to say we disbelieve in the Bible or we disbelieve in the Torah. We can't say that because for us, saying that would be the same as we disbelieve in, okay. uh, in all of them. And this is the same invitation given to non-Muslims come to believe in all of it in other words give this consideration as well so you you see how this is confirming what we, what you already have and where it contradicts we believe this is the part that they've changed in other words had they kept the original there would be no there are no contradiction between the biblical narrative the Old Testament narrative and the Quranic narrative this man mostly spoke about the differences between the Torah, Bible, and the Quran based on the fact that the Quran is still in its original form to preserve and there's no contradiction. So me, I would say this video is all about the differences, not the common commonalities. And I was expecting the man to go deeper, to speak more. I, I think he does not know much about the Torah, to write for the Jews. He knows more on Bible than the Torah because he was talking about the Bible. There are lots of similarities in the Quran and the Bible, you know, especially if you look at the Old Testament, you see some things in Quran that talks about it. So that, that was a beautiful one, but I was expecting a different video. I wanted to see something like, okay, this is common no? maybe in Torah, Jesus was this. In Quran, Jesus was this, the same thing, by, let's say, Jesus was one, Jesus was one, maybe the, those, the books said the same thing. I was expecting a discussion like that. But I don't think the Quran ever made some, said some things that the Bible also said and the Torah also said. I don't think it's, it's like that, but that was a beautiful one from him that was a beautiful one i really enjoyed watching let me know your thoughts in the comment box let me know what you think about this video let's go deeper what's your thoughts do you know the commonalities between the torah bible and the quran if you have an idea or you have more knowledge about these three books please put it in the comment box i will go through it and let's keep this discussion going so guys this is a wrap don't forget to smash that subscribe button for more 
Like, share, and comment. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.